happiness. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the Guru come to you for emotional reason yeah. and sometimes come for enlightenment reason. Yeah. So it depends on what you need. You see, mm -hmm. if you like to be hand fed and love, love, hug, hug, mm -hmm. then you have emotional responsible Guru. Yeah. If you want your puja, then you have your idols at right. home. If you want enlightenment, then you have to look for enlightening master. Right? Just different needs, yes. you know? Yes. Okay? <laughs> some need for emotional purpose, yes. some for intellectual purpose, yes. and some just to, to feel like have somewhere to hang on to, you know, some group belong to somewhere, feel like belonging. Some just need enlightenment, just want to be one with God, just want to know God. Yeah, that's a different group, you see? But then we have to go to the lands of no land, the vision of no vision anymore, okay? Yeah. The limitless type of uh, formless God, yeah. yes, at least to the fifth level. Mm -hmm. Okay, And then we have to know God, not just seeing things, or vision. Yeah. Yes. It's a pity though, <laughs> but it looks the same, looks similar, yeah. Mostly vipassana will not bring you to the fifth level. I have to use this one by one to go up to the fifth. The you know, the last name is fifth level God. Yeah. We have to recite it so that all the guardian will open door for us to go up one by one. Yeah. But if if even if you go to third level, it's glorious already. My God, you think you are God, you think you are with God, and nowhere else you want to go, nowhere else you think would be higher than that. This is a problem. Every level you feel like that. Yeah. <laughs> then you, even on the astral level, people die clinically for 20 minutes. They think that's it. Oh, they come back and cry and cry, and they don't want to stay here, they want to go back to the astral land. Because so beautiful, so glorious. And even if you are handicapped here, you go there, you become young and, you know, not handicapped again. And everything so friendly, seems so beautiful. People are beautiful, scenery beautiful. You feel so good, so light, and you feel all the light, all the love to you, and you feel this ultimate. That's why every level kept their souls, even here. Such a garbage <laughs> existence, you know, so much suffering and work so hard for nothing. Many people don't think there is anything else. That's why there is, a, a, you know, some theory like this is, this is the ultimate. After you die, you have nothing anymore. This is, this is paradise already for some people, you know. They couldn't believe there's other things because they don't see it. And once you became citizen of one level, you can't go up to the other level. So it is better you don't attach to any of this level because you will become like residing there. And also, if your soul feels, like, okay, this is happy, this is ultimate, that's it, then you're granted residence. And then you think it's, it's done. It's not. Even seeing Master inside is only half of the journey. Okay? It's no big deal seeing Master manifesting in front of you, talk to you, or stay with you, or help you with accident. That's is not, not yet. Okay, you're still not one with the Master yet because you still see the Master yes. as helping you yeah, outside of yourself. Right. No, until you know the Master inside and you're together. Hmm? At least you go to the fifth level. Okay, that's a safe forever. Third level, you still need to come back sometimes, long, long time, many hundred years, maybe many thousand years, but you eventually your merit runs out, your concentration power runs out, and then you will see some light, and you, you think, oh, there's a light, and you follow the light, and then you go back in the birth, labyrinth again. It's like that. <laughs> Yeah, because when you see the light, you thought, oh, okay, it's a very beautiful light, and then you, you want to melt in it. But then you will enter the womb of a woman at that time of conception. And then you're reborn again. All third level, God or goddesses, the chief, must be reborn. Within the three worlds, there's, there's always 
mm, creation and destruction going on all the time. Uh, the fourth level is in between. The fifth level, then you say forever. Okay? Yes. You will not be reborn again unless you want to. Uh, and you have choice to be born in a good place, and, and you will find a master very soon to be enlightened again, that you will not sink into the lower level ever again. Only fifth level, then you are safe. Okay? It's the level of the masters, level of the souls, for all these five worlds. Yes. Most soul, if already born into this world, you know, physically, then mostly the highest can reach is the fifth level. Unless that soul came from a higher level, then she or he will go back there. Yeah, okay? And they came for some purposes. Otherwise, you, you, cannot, you cannot avoid being reborn again. If you are within the three realms, that's nothing. He's still going back to cycle, birth and death. Of course, you enjoy beauty and love and all that, but this is not it. He's still seeing things. He's still not one with the, the things, not one with the creation, not one with the Creator. Huh? And the Creator actually is on the third plane already, but you are not even one with Him if you're just seeing things. Now the fifth level is the one that uh, all souls from this planet should go, safe. Even if for, for now, for example, you practice Kwan Yin Method and you couldn't reach the fifth level in this lifetime, but you have the Master who is at least at the fifth level when He was teaching you and when He died. Yeah. Even if He died, but you have that fifth level Master with you, then even He's gone, but He will always take care of you until you reach the fifth level. Even if you, know, you die and you reach only the third level, it doesn't matter. He is always there also to teach you and tell you uh, slowly you go up as well. But if you only have a third level master, then you stuck there. You're not allowed to go up because he doesn't know how. If he doesn't know how, you can't know how. Yes. But if you have fifth level master, no matter what level you're stuck, even in hell, he come and get you out. But of course you won't go to hell after initiation. You have to know what to do already. You avoid evil, you do good, and you meditate. Okay? Even if you are at astral level, the Master is also there. A fifth level Master is everywhere, more omnipresent than the third level. The third level is uh, hardly omnipresent, hardly. Okay? If omnipresent, then just a few. Omnipresent also have many levels, yeah? Uh, some lower and some deeper. Yes. And the Master who could even wear out his or her omnipresent power. So if he doesn't find the connection with the omnipresent power again, he will lose it. Or if he's at the lower level of the omnipresent gate or connection, like, oh, you were not here. I was talking about the connection, how big it is. For example, if I have a divine connection right here, it's called omnipresent potence, yes then I'm hooked up to it. And it's about only about this big, 10 centimeters more or less, yeah? And like a tube, like this. But it's not visible, of course. And then there is another uh, small invisible connection with the highest possible, yeah? But not, even if you're connected to this, <laughs> you, if your soul up there, connecting is not like my body go up there and go oh, hook into the nose or anything <laughs> like that. It, it's the soul of that person. For example, I'm here, my soul up to that uh, level, the highest level where the soul is, and then open the vibe, tell the guardian personally to open it, and then connect into this physical instrument. Then you can disperse it around, around you or into the world. But if you only go, uh, go up to the gate, the, your soul up there, the higher soul go to up to the gate only, then you get maybe maybe 30%. Mm, omnipresent power, for example, yeah? Then you can manifest maybe only two or three places at the same time. But if you have real, supreme, omnipresent power, then you can manifest thousand, million different places at the same time. Yeah. So it can do, but uh, depends how, how much, yeah? Okay.